back at you again with another video. Um, today, what we're going to do is we're going to install some driven captive wheel spacers for the Kawasaki Ninja 400. All right, so this is the this is how it comes in the mail. Um, looking for the part number, there it is. Um, it says for 2018, but it does work with the 2019. Um, yeah, and I like that it says metal. Pretty cool. Um, and basically, where these go is right in there. You see that little chrome piece there? That's where these wheel spacers go, front and back. Um, so one goes here, which is, if I'm not mistaken, the two on the bottom is for the front and the two on the top is for the rear, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of research. Once I take these wheels off, I'll be able to tell you a lot better. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna install these aluminum wheel spacers on the bike. What these do is they stay in place, whereas the ones that in there, that's in there now, whenever you push the shaft axle, I'm sorry, once you push the axle through, those wheel spacers tend to fall out. And I don't wanna keep having to deal with that. So, um, yeah, and another part number there, looking for it. And you should be good to go, man. So let's get this video started. Um, basically, all you have to do, obviously, is to get the bike off the ground or the wheels off the ground. The front torque spec, I'm going to make it the same as, no, the rear torque spec, I'm going to make the same as the front. It's 76 inch, 76 foot pounds of torque. I'm going to do both of them like that just to be safe. Um, but whatever, let's get started, man. Uh, first thing you got to do is obviously you have to take off this pin lock pull it through it's on front and the back um, once you get those two off you take the axles out remove the wheel spacers and put it all back together um, so yeah so I'm gonna do that today let me take out these um, axle pins and then take off the axle nuts uh, if I'm not mistaken that axle nut is a 19 millimeter but I'll verify that before the video is done all right guys so to take this off, um, I've already taken the pins out, and they're not in there. Uh, you will need a 24 for the nut side, and you will need a 17 for the axle side. Obviously, I'm going to need two hands. One is going to hold this in place, the other one's going to take that side off, and then take the chain off. Slide the axle out, the wheel off. I'm gonna change out the wheel spacer, show you guys what that looks like, and then put it all back together. All right, so let me just take off this nut, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I pretty much got this loose. So when you take this off, just want you to pay attention. This nut goes here, obviously, but this is gonna to wanna to come off. This goes in first before you put the washer, not the washer, then this. Um, I've seen a couple of bikes like that, man. It's pretty, been pretty, pretty wild. Uh, but yeah, so basically now it's off. I'm gonna hit this through to the other side and it's gonna take this whole side off. And here it is on this side. I think I'm gonna get a lot of force. Yeah, I'm gonna need some force behind this to take this side off. So let me let me uh let me just take this off. Basically all you gotta do is just take this off and then you have access to the wheel spacer on that side. But the reason why it's hard right now is because of this here. If I loosen these two on both sides and pull the chain in um, to loosen the slack on the the chain itself obviously it'll slide a lot easier as a matter of fact let me do that all right correction 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 so this one is a 14 and this one is a 12 so what I normally do is I loosen the first one first the one in the front loosen that one break that one loose just a little bit not too much and then the second one just pretty much slide man and then you just push the tire forward I do the other side so always the first this one first and then with your finger is the second one it's usually always really really loose all right so now that I got it off all I did was just roll it from the bike and if you look it's already starting to become loose like it's gonna fall out um, same thing to this side so as you can see the other ones the driven ones they actually hold it in place like they have like a lip to stay in place let me, let me just show you guys what i mean all right the easiest way to do this i think is to take this one side off and then see what matches <laughs> um 
Yeah, that's, to me, that's the easiest way. Let me get this one out really quick. So, one thing that I really want to show you, you see that little lip right there? If you look at this one, there's no lip whatsoever. Then there's a lip here. Big difference. So when you put this one in, you're going to make sure the lip is seated inside. I should have put some grease. Like that. So if you look all the way around it, that lip should be inside, seated all the way inside. Just like that. So no matter how many times I take this wheel off, it's gonna stay inside of here. It's not gonna come out. And that's the one thing that I thought was pretty cool about this wheel spacer. Like they don't pop out. Um, they can come loose, but yeah, so perfect example. So you see how I took that one off and that one just fell out but I mean doing anything. All I did was lean the bike wheel up against the wall. So what I would recommend for this side, same thing. Once it falls out, kind of like put it up against something else and see what, what matches that size. All right, so real quick, um, when I took this one off, like I found it very hard to spin. So I said, was, well, oh hell no, let me not take that chance. And I put a little bit of lubricating grease um, on, on the inside of both sides. So that way, I'm not, I don't want to be riding and be paranoid at the same time. So I would recommend when you take these off, don't forget to put a little bit of lubricating, not lubricating grease, but just some grease, some general grease inside um, of the wheel spacer so that I can spin freely like this. Um, can't really show you, it's a little, little spacious, but it spins. Yeah, so, <clears throat> all right, YouTube, this is a, a, a terrible way to close out the video, but um, I had some editing issues in the videos that I, re the video footage I recorded for the front, um, it got corrupt. Um, I don't know how it got corrupt, maybe it was the editing software, I, I don't know, I have no idea what happened to the footage. Um, but as you can see, I, I did install them, um, I put the front um, this bolt at 76 pounds just like the rear um, I didn't make them no different so both of the front and the rear is at 76 pounds uh, use a torque wrench I highly recommend you use one um, the smaller spacers are for the front and obviously the bigger spacers are for the rear um, man I, I wish I was able to show you guys uh, the full video process but like I said the video footage got corrupted and I can just show you that it's installed I promise you I did not go to a shop to have this installed I did it myself what's going on there that dust um, but as you can saw that you saw the two in the front and you can see the two in the rear so now that you guys can see it I want to close this video out I thank you guys for watching my Kawasaki Ninja 400 wheel spacers installed on a 2019. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day.